Step one. Step one is to talk to your family members. Ask if family members have been in contact with people with COVID, if they've gotten COVID tested recently, and if they're comfortable with having a family gathering. Hi everybody, I'm Katie Floyd reporting from WVHS at home, and I'm gonna give you five tips on how to stay COVID safe during your family Thanksgiving. Along with step one, make sure that you keep your family gathering small, so maybe smaller sections of families get together. Tip two is to socially distance within your family. So you stay with your family, but the other families stay six feet apart. So at the dinner table, keep your chairs at least six feet apart. Tip three is to make your own food. So your family makes your own Thanksgiving food and the other families make their food and you all sit and eat socially distanced together. Step four is to always remember to wear your mask. Whether you're socially distant or not, wearing masks and staying distance helps. Tip five is to give thanks. Remember, thanks can go a long way during these hard times. Talk with family members, but please keep your distance. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'm Katie Floyd, WBHS correspondent, signing off. Because of COVID-19, we are unable to celebrate Thanksgiving in a traditional way, but here are some activities to do to have a virtual Thanksgiving. To start off, having a virtual call is one of the greatest ways to communicate with your family during this time. During the call, you can share recipes within your family members, or you can have a friendly virtual cooking contest. Another activity is to watch movies virtually through a streaming service like Scener. There's multiplayer games like Among Us or online bingo that you can play with your family and friends. Because Black Friday is around the corner, online shopping is the perfect alternative to shopping in person. 
these are some suggestions on celebrating Thanksgiving this year. But there are other activities you can do as long as you follow COVID-19 safety guidelines. I'm Angela Cisneros from WBHS and Happy Thanksgiving! First, you are going to grease and flour a 12 cup bun pan or a 10 inch tube pan. Next, you are going to beat cake mix, dry pudding mix, water, eggs, and oil in a large bowl with an electric mixer on low speed until blended. Then you are going to beat on high speed for two minutes. You're going to peel the apples and then gently stir them in and pour them into the prepared pan. Bake for 50 minutes to an hour and then cool on a wire rack for 20 minutes. Lastly, you're going to take your caramels and milk in a microwave bowl for a minute and a half, stirring every 30 seconds until blended. Drizzle the caramel over top and then enjoy. My name is Tony two times, but you can call me Turkey. One year ago, my cousin went missing. Rumor is, he was taken by a pilgrim. I went to my cousin's place last week. <coughs> Where's my cousin? But he was nowhere to be seen. Where are you? Cousin? He used to like leaves like this. You couldn't find them anywhere else. Ah! I found another clue! He was definitely here. I heard a rumor there was some wild turkeys at Tom Sawyer Park. I decided to go check it out. But first, I needed a way of transportation. Hey! Too many turkeys on my phone. Hey! That's the pilgrim that took my cousin! Hey! Turkey! 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 Hey! 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 And good riddance. I'm not too good at driving. In fact, I've never driven before. But it shouldn't be too hard. It's a very sad day today. Revenge is bittersweet in the end. It's not over yet. I still haven't found my cousin. Listen, while we're in the car driving, I'll just tell you a funny story. All right, get over! Listen, so I was a young turkey, about five, maybe ten. Um, and you know, my cousin, the one, re rest his soul, rest in peace. Uh, he was just flying around like a normal turkey. <laughs> that was the story. <laughs> It's actually me. <laughs> the city is a mess. 
We've got turkey hunters coming all over. Look at all these people dirtying the city. They're just playing games. This isn't a game to me. This is life and death. What? What? Just trying to mind my business. Go out for revenge. Mind my business. Mind my business. All these people trying to talk to me. I just tell them, no, relax. Relax. I asked a lot of people where I could find a turkey, where I could find my beautiful cousin. They pointed me to this place, Karogas. This is it. This is where I find out the truth about my cousin about my family. This is the place where I find it all. I don't got friends, I only got family. Family's all that matters. Every year, they kill us for no reason. I saw my cousin in there, my mother, my papa. I saw them all in there for what? So people can be happy and eat. I have feelings too. Let's go. Let's go. Why? Why? Hi, with Thanksgiving coming up and COVID cases on the rise, I think it is more important than ever that people should be practicing safe precautions. And if you are getting together with loved ones that you do not live with, then you should be practicing these COVID safety tips that I'm going to give you right now. The first one is wear a mask. It's pretty simple. You just wear the mask and the only time, the only time you take off the mask is when you are going to eat. The second tip is Stay six feet apart and eat outside. Now, these precautions are very important because they can help prevent the spread of the virus to you and your family. And I hope that you, that you use them and have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Ballot Correspondent Jack Siegel.